Okay, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the sequence of working on your swing. So, uh, I think a mistake a lot of people make, and it comes out of golf teaching, is that you try to figure out these static parameters first, and then apply a motion based on all these fixed positions. And I think that's backwards. Uh, what you really need to do is start with good body movement, understand what you're trying to do. So first off, this swing concept that most of us will start with where we're hitting the ball is not very effective. This, a better swing concept is to think of the, the hitting, if you want to call it, of the ball happens really from here to the finish. So once you move that impulse out here, you start to get better impact conditions. You start to have more control over the direction of your swing because you're now thinking, I'm take, taking the ball and sending it to the target. So your intention goes out here instead of to here and your body responds and figures out I'm going there, starts to do better things. So if you have a trainer, the weight kind of helps you with that. So short back, accelerate through and everything is waiting for here, really. So this part is just kind of up, relatively passive at first, and then throwing, accelerating through the ball, whatever you want to call it. So get that feeling with the trainer. Now take your club, feel the weight of it, and we're going to do the same kind of motion. A little bit of a short back, accelerate everything through. So short back, everything through, and now I'm just going to hit one. Not worried about target yet. So what I am concentrated on is, am I getting a motion that is through the ball, out into space there, that collects the ball, that hits the ball solid, that feels controllable and consistent. So we'll try that first. Just a little back and then accelerate through. That's a good one. Should be right on my target there. And then let's say you've got that and it's not anywhere near your target. Um, what are you going to change? So you can see my ball flight pretty much dead straight right at the target. Nothing I want to change about that. Good contact. I like everything about that. Let's say it's 10 degrees to the right. So what do I change? Well, I don't, oh no, I better go like this during my motion to change that. That's the fatal flaw. So I've got my motion. I've got it aimed. Now, if it was 10 degrees to the right, I'm going to think of myself, if the ball is here, think of my feet as existing on an arc around the ball. So the reason for that is, if my feet are here and the ball is positioned there, if I want to move my aim line, what I need to do is not do this, right? Because now the ball is relative to me. The ball was there, now it's here. I changed a bunch of parameters. I only want to change aim. So it's there. Now, if I want to go left, I'm going to sort of walk myself around a circle here. So there I am. Now I've walked myself around a circle. I haven't changed anything except the direction that this arc squares. So now I've walked myself around this circle. And I'm going left, right? But same exact ball flight didn't change the shape. Now, same thing, go the other way. Well, I want to hit a straight ball now, and my aim is going to be there, theoretically. It's right in the same place in my stance. I've just moved the parameters around. Let's try this. And now I'm going to the right. So, that's the sequence. And then, if I want to 
change shape. I'm just changing face angle now relative to my path that I figured out. So I'm liking those. I would like to play a ball that's can fade a little, draw a little. I don't think a big shape does anything great for you. But let's say I do like to play a big shape. So now I'm going to still, ball position's not really changing because that's where my swing bottoms. So now I'm negotiating a face that's a little close to my path. And we'll try this and see if I can bring it to the right back onto my target. So there we go, coming back toward the middle and drawing in. So pretty simple, but it's a sequence, right? So first, the Trevino said the exact same thing. The range is open because you're not worried about target. You're trying to figure out a motion and how to hit the ball solid and control the shot shape. Figure that out, then you're basically aiming your motion, right? Aim your motion. Don't aim your feet, don't aim your shoulders, don't aim this, all this stuff, it's, it's wrong. It's just wrong. Aim your motion. Aim the arc, where the arc squares and the face is relatively square. That's it. The arc pointing at the target for whatever your swing is. And the face relatively square to arc, a little open, a little closed, draw a fade. That's the way to do it. Figure it out. Motion first, where it lands, align that, and then fiddle with the face.